Hello again. So this is the uh, second video of on the, in this first lecture. Well, the first lecture, um, but a background again, is mostly focused on just generating some CAD in order for you to take into the motion environment in NX. So uh, something in the first section that I didn't show you is um, just creating multiple pieces of geometry and connecting them together. Uh, this this demo will, however, focus on assemblies. Uh, so adding multiple parts multiple parts together so just to show you I'm going to create a little vehicle so a little chassis and then and then f uh, four wheels attaching to that so just to show you yes I, I created a sketch here um, and what I'm going to do is that will be one of the the axles so I'm just going to say extrude again as in the previous video and there I can extrude the important bit that I want to show you now is this this boolean. So the boolean will that is what determines how you will work how the, the the two sets of the two bodies will interact with one another. So if you set it to inferred, so inferred is more of a it's a guess that NX makes uh, in terms of what do you want to do with this geometry. So I created a sketch on on this surface and if I extrude this um, this sketch out of the surface it infers a unite and that you can see in, in, in these brackets if I pull this this way you can see that the inferred changes from a unite to a subtract because NX now sees oh you you extruding this into something else so you probably want to create a hole so the inferred is usually quite quite good in terms of what what NX should do so in this case I'm just going to leave it at that because what I want to do is to unite these two to make it one body and I can say okay uh, we can see if I we go to the selection filter up here and I set it to solid body and I hover over this you can see the solid body everything is connected okay so I'm just going to create another another few of those and then I'll show you how you well I'll show you the other part that I created and then we can get going on the SM so here you can see that I've got the, the four axles for the four wheels and something important now is here at the top you'll see that there's a window drop down so if you go to that window drop down you can move between the different parts that are available uh, the other option is to say uh, to press control tab on your keyboard and that will allow you to move through to different models um, by use of just pressing tab the whole time so I'm going to the wheel so here you can see I created the wheel I have a single sketch and I just did a simple extrude and this is what the geometry I got up with came up with so I'm just going to go back to the to the main part and we can say okay so this is now demo one you can see in this assembly navigator the assembly navigator shows you all of the components in your current assembly the part navigator shows you how those components were made depending on which component is active so in this case we want to create a new assembly and add these components that I've created to that assembly so I can go to file and then I can go to new and in this section I can say we can say assembly and we can say assembly one and I'm just going to put underscore vehicle and I can say okay so the first thing that happens uh, when I create a new assembly we'll see that there's a, a pop-up in for adding components okay so now we can see okay so there are these are two components that we created and I want to add the demo demo one part that's the chassis and we can see there's a component preview over there and here we can see how should this component be placed I'm just going to say move this allows me that when the component is placed in the graphics window this whole section over here is the graphics window um, if it's placed here then I can just move it around into the correct position so I can say okay and this now asks where should the the work uh, the uh, coordinate system B I'm just going to leave it at absolute and now it will allow me to move this component around I'm just not I'm just going to leave it exactly where it was well pretty much and we can say okay so there's our component and you can see again in this assembly navigator now we've got an assembly uh, top level and we can see that we've got this demo 
uh, one level below it. So the next part is to add more components, the wheels in this case. So we can go assemblies, add, and we say wheel, and again, move. And I can say OK. OK. Now I can move this wheel around, and I can say OK. So as you can see, the wheel isn't exactly uh, on the on the axle. It's very obvious. So we can add some assembly constraints to this wheel now. So one of the ways is to go to assembly constraints. And in this case, there's a concentric. And I can select concentric. I can click that edge. I can click that edge. And you can see that these two edges are now concentric. And I can select OK. So this is pretty much how you will add components. One of the other options in this placement, as I said earlier, uh, initially we selected move. Now I'm going to select by constraints and I'm going to select wheel again. I'm going to say OK. And now we, what, what, what's very clear is that we can actually select in this preview window. So in this preview window, I'll select that edge and I'll select that edge and we can say OK. And there you see that the wheels are already placed in the correct position with the correct assembly constraint. So that concludes this section on creating simple assemblies.